And hello again, folks. It is I, Kamikaze, here bringing you more of Dyangin Rampa. A short stack. Let me in. Why? Himiko, why are you here? Were you keeping watch this whole time? What a pain. You. Okay. Hey, uh, yeah. Because of the ritual is Monokuma's motive, we shouldn't just let it happen. Uh, okay. Let alone, she might sacrifice herself for all we know. Sure, whatever. Then... Huh? Not possible. Hmm. Huh? That sounds sketchy. Huh? Bolt doors? Oh, that means. I mean, she has to be in there. No, there's a key. A key, 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 key. key. I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it. Click, 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 click. It really is locked. But these doors only lock from the inside. Which means there's definitely someone in there. Hey. No. No answer. Himiko. Himiko, we need to get inside right now. Yeah? I wonder why. Ah. I see. What? You. Um. Oh. Yeah, he's like some kind of pickpocket or Tokichi's trick. Ah, oh. oh, the lock picking. Yeah. Huh? Hey. He was able to get into our room by lock picking. Can you use your lock picking skills to get this lab door open? Mm hmm. Tokichi bent over and peeked into the keyhole of the doorknob. Ah. Um. Yes, please, Kokichi, open the lock. You. Himiko. Now is not the time for that. Something might have happened to Angie. Yeah. My bad. Kokichi pulled out some kind of thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. Clicky click click clickety clack click. Clack. See. Huh? That simple. <laughs> Surprised he's still going with that. Well, you got me. All right. Let's get inside. I'm worried about Angie. Got it. Whoop. Boop. I'm just gonna guess. Dun da 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 da. When I touched the doorknob, I realized that the palms, my palms were sweating from fear. Fear? Why am I nervous? I turned the doorknob and that door actually moves. Holy crap. And pushed open the door and saw... Oh! Uh... What? What?! Well, I know. I guess she's she's dead. I mean, that's kind of what I guess. But what the fuck's with the wax dolls? And it means I can't get whatever skill she had. Seriously, I'm choosing Boobs and McGee now, and I know damn well that something's gonna happen to her, right? Because that seems to be what's happening every time I pick someone to try and get a damn skill. Ding dong, ding dong. A body has been found. This is an official announcement. What now that's green stinky vomit? Ah. It'd be better if it like it was a bad dream than woke up and did stuff again. The transfer student from beyond the grave. Well then.
<sighs> oh my god, shut up, Kibo. I mean, as soon as it started going more and more Atua, I had a feeling either she was going to kill someone or be killed. But I was hoping it was neither, because that would have made this a little more entertaining throughout the rest of it. Not that this game isn't it, it, irritating, entertaining as is. You don't know? Yeah, no shit. Clearly she did. Weird. Damn it. Right? Really? That's right. No way. But Huh? Oh. Purple background, jeez, huh? Could it be? What Satan? Or Atuoli? <laughs> Who refills her vomit? Uh oh. <laughs> it's okay. Great. Yeah, sure. So then, let's get it started in here. We are all friends. Oh. So. So then... Yeah. Wait! Nope. <laughs> Why don't you just shove it, you little shit? Unfortunately... You're right. That's true. I mean, it's exactly what I'd end up doing, is like, with these meds that I'm on, I kind of, I'm a little less empathetic when it comes to situations like this. People's emotions? Uh, I'm still okay with that. But it's still, it's strange. This is a bizarre setup. Four wax figures, effigies of the dead, hung upside down in the room. And in the middle, Angie's body in a pool of blood. It certainly appears to be some kind of ritual. Why is it that it's only clicking half the time? Shuichi! Uh, yeah, okay. But are you feeling okay, Kaito? Uh, okay. Seems like. Hmm. The transfer student. Well, if you didn't perform the ritual and get the transfer student back, then... Huh? Uh... Could it be? <laughs> hey! W what? Uh, um... Kaito, are you alright? Damn. Can I look around yet? Kaito left, still a bit wobbly. Her popped up cheeks. <laughs> uh, maybe it wasn't the best way to phrase it. But he just wants to encourage... Jeez. Dot, dot, fucking dot. It's okay. Well, you're right. Yes. Let's take a look. She was only 90 pounds. I'm over twice her weight. Like 
2.33 times her weight. I think that would be the correct math. The body was found in the Ultimate Artist's lab. The time of death was approximately 2 in the, two in the morning. That was only like four hours after we left her. The cause of death is a stab wound to the back of the neck. The forehead is also uh, has also a laceration. Hmm. Hmm. But I didn't mean to click. Everyone must have been asleep. Why? All right. It's impossible. Himiko? Uh. But whatever. Huh? Don't care anymore. What a pain. All I can think of is that anime Psyche K or Psyche or whatever it is, where he just goes. What a pain. What a pain. What was that? What a pain. Please stop. Is that so? You were doubting it before. Why aren't you doubting huh? it now? No. Oh, the Ouija board. You see. Seance. What are you trying to pull? You gotta be kidding me! I am serious. Huh? For our investigation. Yes. Well, you know. Do you understand? Jade Child. No. However. What? Therefore. Oh yeah. Well. Incomprehensible. Um. So, if someone was resurrected or not, or undeaded, then they should be somewhere on the grounds, right? Okay. Check all the rooms, the bedrooms, the bathrooms, the everything. There's still enough of us left that we could search the entire school in a way that would push them into a corner if they were still here. How exciting! Huh? We haven't even started investigating. Huh? Hmm. Huh? I. Well. Do whatever you want. Don't be a little whiner. Yes! So then. You know, I feel like I should just to see what this is. I'm not one to believe in seances uh, and, well, the afterlife and ghosts. It's too depressing to think of that. The reason why, just in my opinion, let's do some mellow time with Kame. The reason why I personally don't want to think that there is an afterlife and ghosts and such, because imagine you being a ghost and you're stuck on Earth walking around, seeing everything that you're missing, being pulled back from the afterlife just so someone can ask you a question. What if they do it wrong? And if, like, let's say every single person that died was a ghost, it'd be pretty damn crowded on this planet now, wouldn't it? Yeah, you just volunteer him. 
You're right. Why? Well then. Why not right here? After I investigate. Mm -hmm. No. Then. Oh yeah, there's those three rooms. That's... Empty rooms? The ones on the fourth floor? I think the floor that we're on! Hmm. Yeah. Listen up! Why don't they just do a murder within a murder within a murder within a murder? Tell me your thoughts. Then... I'm not going to question I that. I see, yes. Uh, um... Are you really going to do this? Do you understand? <laughs> Sounds like a sprinkler. <laughs> well, at least they're out of the way so I can look around. Kyo, Kokichi, Kibo, and Tenko, and Himiko all left the scene. This is stupid. But... Perhaps that's just part of the investigation in their eyes. We should go with it. In any case, I should focus on what I can do. What the ultimate detective can do. Investigation, start! Unfortunately, for you, I'm going to end this video here, because I'm an ass. If this is entertaining to you, please push the button so that makes me a happy camper to make me want to make more videos for you because I know you like watching me do stuff. And hopefully you can join our Discord just for a lovely little community of people who are dumb, like me. But not dumb in a bad way, dumb in a fucking awesome way. So thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.